I think with everything we have going on in our world with between social media and news and our phones and all the technology that we have, it's really difficult to set aside time for yourself to grow closer to God aside from Mass. So it gives us the opportunity to get away from the kids, the husbands, the distractions and uh, really make our faith a priority. I think it's important for women to have a separate conference as well as the men also having a separate conference because I think we just face completely different things um, between the different responsibilities, not to mention like the different careers that we drift towards. As men and women, we also face different social challenges. So the men's conferences are usually more focused towards telling men to get up and be active in their faith and be proud of their faith and get it together. But women are more focused on you know, loving ourselves because we are so hard on ourselves because of the things we face in society. So um, it is important for us to have separate conferences as well as the ones together because those are important for us to learn how to grow together in our faith. But the separate conferences are really good because they allow us to address the different things that we face with our respective genders. It's the Holy Spirit, right, that adopts us, that allows us to become daughters that say, I know who my dad is. I talked about that earlier, but I want to talk about what that looks like in a practical way. What I love um, as we talk about our role is Mary throughout the whole tradition of the church has been the model of what it looks like to live a life infused with the Holy Spirit. One thing that really struck me that was unique about the, one of the speakers at this conference was she allowed the women to reflect on what had been said and to pray. And uh, she had a musician actually playing the piano while it was happening. And I thought that really, like, it felt like I was listening to a meditation tape. It was so um, moving and it, you don't always get that time to let the speech, let the talk uh, hit you and really give it the thought and appreciation that it deserves. And I don't know if that's why she did it or not, but it did really strike me as, as something unique that I hadn't really seen at any of these conferences before.